Hey there, wanted to put together a very brief video about the difference between inner and outer joins, which is something that uh, students sometimes have confusion and question about, but which I think can be made crystal clear with an easy example. Okay, so let's uh, talk about the, the setup here, the scenario. We've got two very simple tables, an employee table, with three attributes, an employee identifier, which is the primary key, employee name, and the department ID for each corresponding employee. All right, simple enough. Then similarly, we have a department table, two attributes, the department ID, which is acting as primary key for the department table, and the department name. Okay, so their scenario, obviously you can see that there is a primary key foreign key relationship, the department ID attribute is shared between the two tables. All right, so let's take a brief moment and look at this from an entity relationship diagramming perspective, because especially for those in the class, I want you to um, understand where this situation, where outer join and inner join can make a difference would arise from a design perspective. Okay, so here we have it. Two entities, employee and department. A given employee can work for at most one department. A department can have working for it many employees. And the other important thing to note here is that participation on both sides is optional. So you're going to have employees that are not participating in the working for a department relationship. You're going to have departments that are not participating in having employees work for them. And that's important to note because that is what will make the distinction that we're about to look at. Okay, so let's join these two tables together in the fashion we're already familiar with, which turns out is an inner join. Okay, so let's say we're interested in just seeing the employee names and their corresponding department names. That'd be pretty reasonable, right? So select employee name, common department name, from employee, join department, and because the attribute is exactly the same in both tables, we can say using department ID, and before we fire this up, take a look. We've got four employees, Alice, Bob, Sharice, and Dan, working in three departments, accounting, sales, and distribution. Let's see what we get with our inner join. We get Bob working in accounting. We get Sharice working in accounting. We get Dan working in sales. Note what we do not get. We do not see any information about Alice. So why is that? The reason for that is the reason for the occasional need for the outer join. Inner join only gives you those records where there is a corresponding match between the table with the key acting as a primary key and the table with the key acting as a foreign key. So because Alice has no corresponding entry in the department ID because, or in the department table because her department ID is null, we do not see her results. An outer join can help us remedy that. So let's take a look at the outer join. So similar thing, we are asking for the employee name and the department name from employee. And we're just going to add a left to our join department using department ID. And I probably should have used the, the up arrow there. But in any case, the only difference between that query and, and well, let, me, let me make it a little higher so it's easier for, for you to see on the screen. Um, the only difference is the addition of this reserve word left. And what that signifies is that we want a left outer join. Let's see what that gives us. Lo and behold, it gives us Alice. And so what a left outer join is doing is specifying, saying, for the left table, which is going to be the table that's referenced first, that's referenced before the actual join term. 
for that table give me every match plus any records without a corresponding match. No big deal. If we want to see that, we can specify left join and we can get it. And there you have it. Additional wrinkle. Let's look at our original tables. So we've seen a way to add Alice in spite of the fact that she does not have a corresponding department ID. But what have we not yet seen? Well, we've not yet seen any appearance by the distribution department with um, department ID number three. Why is that? Same exact difference, only in the other direction. Distribution haps, happens to be a department with no corresponding entry in the employee table. There is no employee who works for department ID number three. So how can we remedy that? Well, we remedy that using, instead of left join, we use right join. All right, and let me bring that up there a little bit and take a look at that. And lo and behold, we've got an entry now for distribution in our join results in spite of the fact that the corresponding employee is non-existent and returns a employee name of null. Same exact situation, only applied to the right table, or the table on the right hand of the join. That's the table that appears after the actual join reserve word. So we see employee on the left and department on the right. That's an arbitrary orientation. We could flip it. If we flipped it, then obviously we would also need to flip the left-right orientation. That's the essential difference. Now, one additional wrinkle, you might say, okay, so you, saw, you, you showed us how to do the left and see Alice. You showed us how to do the right and see distribution. How about if we want to see both of those at the same time? Well, MySQL does not make that completely effortless to do. However, it's not terribly difficult. In Oracle and other systems, they afford a full outer join, which is basically saying, give me this stuff from the left outer join, combined with the right outer join, with duplicates removed, and give me the entire scenario. Uh, we have to, we have to um, work around the fact that there is no full outer join syntax. It's relatively straightforward to do that. First, you do the, well, actually, the, the order is not important, but let's start with the one we started with and do the left join and union, which is a, a set operator, the previous join, which I'm going to type out, department name from employee right join department using department ID. So in essence, what we're doing is taking our left outer join and providing the union of that join together with a right, right, right outer join so that we get both together, which is equivalent to the full outer join and will give us the non-corresponding employees, i.e. Alice with no department, and the non-corresponding departments, i.e. distributions, without any employees. So let's take a look at that. And there we have it. We have a full outer join equivalent. We've got Alice with no department and we've got distribution with no employees. Hooray for us. I hope that makes real and concrete what is going on with an outer join. Uh, study hard and I will see you online.